Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Fun in the Kitchen with April. So today, I want to share with you um, a recipe that I love. It is called arroz con tres leche. So basically, that is Mexican three milk rice pudding. So if you're like me and love rice pudding, I'm going to share this recipe with you. Okay, give me a minute. Let me get it together and I'll be back. Okay, so for this recipe, we're gonna need three cups of whole milk, one container like this of sweet and condensed milk, and one whole can of evaporated milk, okay? Um, you want your cinnamon, but that's just to sprinkle on after it is done. We're gonna put a cinnamon stick in here to cook so it gets that cinnamon flavor. An eighth of a teaspoon of coarse salt, okay? We're also gonna need two cups of water and then one whole cup of long grain rice, okay? So let's get started with putting all of our wet ingredients in here first and then we'll put the rice in, okay? Because we wanna combine our wet ingredients and get them all mixed up. So let's start with the milk. So that's three cups of whole milk. Three cups of whole milk, y'all. Then I'm going to pour this whole thing in here of sweet and condensed milk. And this is, I should have told y'all, I am making this in my Instant Pot. Yes, y'all. This is the Instant Pot Arroz con Tres Leche. Yes. So we wanna see how this come out because I've never made it in the Instant Pot before. So we'll see how it comes out. I'm sure it will be good. So I'm just squeezing all of this sweet and condensed milk in here. I wanna get the whole container in here because that's what we need. And it is after Father's Day. And I hope all of you guys enjoy your Father's Day, the men who are fathers. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, okay, I think I'm done with that. I'm going to shake up this evaporated milk and then I'm going to open this and put this in there. Okay. All right. Let's pour that in there. And I don't know if you guys know, but you know, uh, sweet and condensed milk, the milk that I was pouring out of the little bottle here, this is sweet all on its own, which is why we're not putting um, sugar in this because we have this sweet and condensed milk. It is so good. So now I'm gonna add the water in. And again, that's two cups of water, okay? And I'm gonna use my whisk because I don't wanna mess up my pan, my inner pot here in this Instant Pot. So I think this is like my second time showing you something in the Instant Pot. So I figured I'd try this recipe here in the Instant Pot. So we'll see how it comes out, okay? All right, so I got that all combined in there. I can tell because it's not thick like it was when I put this whisk in there. I got that all whisked up. Okay. So now what I want to do is throw my cinnamon stick in here. Oh, first of all, I forgot to add the salt. So let me whisk that up in there. I forgot to put that eighth of a teaspoon of salt in there. Okay. And that's all you need on that. So now I'm going to throw my cinnamon stick in here. And... We're gonna put the rice in there. And I'm gonna give it a whirl again, just so that everything gets combined, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is put the top on this. There we go. And we're gonna make sure that we're sealing the vent, okay? And then we're going to set, let me push it back so that you can see what I'm setting it to, I hope you can see. We're gonna set it on um, pressure cook and it's gonna be for 20 minutes, 
okay? And then we'll just let it um, naturally vent for a few minutes before I actually take it out of the um, Instant Pot, okay? So I will see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm back and it cooked for 20 minutes and then I let it um, naturally vent for like 18 minutes, okay? And this is what we have, the arroz con tres leche or Mexican rice pudding. And I sprinkled, I took the cinnamon stick out of there too, but I sprinkled um, a little bit of cinnamon. So let's see how it tastes. It's pretty hot, so. Mm-hmm. Very good. So if you like to try it, go ahead and try it and let me know how you liked it in the comment section. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe and press the notification bell so you know the next time I have a great recipe coming for you. Bye.